Hi guys, it's me, Sorrel, and I made an altar tour video a few months ago, and obviously my setup has changed quite a bit, so I thought that I would give you an updated tour. Um, jumping right in, I've got my carrot cake candle, it's burning right now, it smells so good. Um, there's my chalice right there, and it has the seagrass pouch in it that I put my crystals in when I'm going to do a spell or I need to have them on me. That's what I use. Um, I have this over here. I just got this at a thrift shop. And it says, bless this home on it. And it's got a spot for a tea light and I keep two dollars under there. Just to help. It's a, it's a money Money spit, money candle spell, sort of. And it's, this little lid just goes right on top there, and you can just keep a tea light in there. So I bought it. It's really nice and it's cute. Um, this right here, it's it's just a stone that I found on the riverbed when I was out um, exploring, and I really, I really liked it. So I br brought it home and I cleansed it, and I use it now as a worry stone and when I'm doing astral projection I keep this stone on me because I feel like it helps me to it helps to ground me and also keep my mind okay um, and under here and here I have some baby's breath just to help make things look pretty um, here I have my athame I mean, it's nothing new. You guys have seen this one before. Um, it's nice. I bought it a few years back. This I also bought at a thrift store. And I don't think you can read it. It's Scorpio. And it has a scorpion in it. And I'm going to gift this to a good friend of mine. This is the needle that I use when I'm carving candles and making them into something. It's what I use when I carve candles. This is a ribbon that I tie my hair with sometimes just because I think it looks pretty and it's just kind of where it's decided it needs to be. Now this is my, um, oops, my pentacle necklace. It's made of rosewood. I love this, and I use it all the time. Um, it's quickly become one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. And this, these are all of my crystals here, um, along with a few things that aren't crystals, but they're passable. This, this, and this are all um, seashell. That is a bear claw. That is a ring that unfortunately doesn't fit me anymore, so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Um, start from the top. That is a coin that my dear friend gave to me. Bloodstone, can't remember what you are called. Um, jade. Rose quartz, seashell. Amethyst, carbon. Can't remember what he's called. Moonstone, Amethyst, Amethyst, can't remember what she's called, and Seashell up there. So that's just a quick little thing. This is, originally it was a mortar and pestle, like a small one. You can see it's like the size of the palm of my hand, and I just use it as a place, I use it as a pseudo cauldron right now. Eh, it works. There's my tea. Um, this is my cleansing feather that I use when I'm doing smoke cleansings. Um, there's a spoon for my tea. And here's the whole stand. Let's go in the first drawer here. This is pretty much my candle drawer. Um, got a bowl of some prosperity herbs that doesn't really belong there. My tea lights, matches, some things that are there. Um, I'm using as talismans, those aren't in the right place either, and these, those are candles that are waiting to be burned, 
these are candles that are waiting to be melted back down, and that's the pestle for the mortar and pestle right there. Moving swiftly forward, this is my craft drawer. I have fabrics here that I use to make different things. Um, I have a hole punch here, some um, different things. It's potpourri, but I'm just using it for different things to decorate. Thumbtacks, paint, paint brushes, a card that my mother made, some pictures of my horse and I. There's his eye. There's his dopey head. And there's my mother and I when I was a child. Um, a card that my dear friend made for me. Sewing needle, thread, razor for um, doing textures. More thread, needles, and bells. This is my... This is where I just keep... Oops. Almost lost the drawer there. This is where I keep most of my herbal stuff. I have teas in here that I use when I'm working with different teas or spells that require. These are different um, salves and balms that I've made for healing. That's a lip balm. Can't remember what I made that one for. And that one is to draw prosperity in love. It's got rose pieces, chamomile, it's also for healing the skin. Incense, I don't have a lot because I'm not a huge incense burner because I have these guys. There she is, and there he is, and woo, and there she is. <laughs> Got shy. Um, chili peppers, pepper, salt, beeswax, which I use for making that and cedar oil that I made. Oh, and that's an incense blend that I made. Some storm water in there too. There really isn't anything in this drawer down here. I have some stationery, and it doesn't really like to open, so I don't like to open it too, too much. If you hear jingling, it's my bracelet that I made a few years ago. Now here is my Book of Shadows. This is a book that I have yet to decide what to do with. Now, this isn't done yet. Take it down on the floor here. And I'll just show you what I have done so far. There's my book for field notes. I have a pen, a tea light, some matches, a cone of incense, and some sage, and some teas. This is my old book of shadows that I'm going to convert into something else. These are some rough notes. Um, and this is the title page. Grimoire of... Grimoire of Sorrel Nightingale, aka me. I have the astrological signs up here. I have a thundercloud because I'm a storm witch. I have the seasons. I have a vine. And um, fire, air, water, and earth right there. And these are some spirit files that I'm not quite, haven't quite gotten to yet, but I will get there soon enough. I'll make a video on how to do those. Now over here is my, this is the sort of quiet area that I do a lot of my meditation in. Um, here, we'll start on the windowsill here. Let me open it a little bit. I have some things along here. Dragons, horses, steer. I'll go. This is a horse that I made for my friend that looks like hers. That behind there is oops, a physio um, that you a physiotherapy ball that you roll in your hand, and it helps to keep your hand limber because I have arthritis and it's awful, so it helps. Um, this is a steer horn, hollowed out, that I use for different things. Horse that looks like my horse. Salt, obviously, dragon statuette, another horse, and the other physio ball, and a triceratops, there we go. Now here, this is sort of my um, divination altar. Ah, shit, I don't have my, I normally have my, um, 
what's it called, pendulum right here. But here I have the main, that's a candle that no longer burns because the wick kind of got messed up. There is my um, feather quill. There we go. Um, goddess cat statue. Picture of my pony. My dragon tarot deck. And my goddess tarot deck. And a rose petal. And this is what I, this is a sketchbook. This is where I burn sage. I had some burning, but it kind of went out. This is where I do psychic drawings. And down here I have some rocks along here, a pen for that. And this is a marble ball. And a marble used to be like an ashtray. But what I do when I need noise, or like a white noise, I don't know if you can hear that. But I roll it around and it kind of makes a low rumbling and it helps me to sort of ground myself. This is a book on homeopathy that I read quite a bit because I'm trying to open up that part of my practice. I have some sand down here that I like to mess with sometimes. The boxes for my tarot decks, a cow hoof, a horse um, glass carving, and some river rocks along there. Um, and here is my spirit, this is my um, shawl that I wear when I'm doing witchy things, my kneeling mat. I use this for tarot card placement, I use it for scrying, I use it for a lot of things. Oh, ow. This is my purse that I put when I'm doing witchy things for people or I'm going out. I'll put my tarot decks in here, my physio things in here, um, my small field book that you saw, and there is a halter for my horse that I have charged with protection and concentration to help him when we go riding or when we're training. And I think that that is it. So we'll finish on Toro here. Um, so that was just a basic, quick little, oh, I almost forgot. There's a fan, sorry for that noise. Um, I have River Rocks along this ledge, a award that I got. And this is a tree. Um, fungus thing that would grow on the tree like that. See if I can get it to stand up again. Yeah! Um, so that is pretty much it. Um, I will get back to you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Um, good health on you and yours. Signing off. This is Sorrel Nightingale. Have a good night.